Hey guys, thanks for joining in today. I'm Tavis Glover and I'm going to teach you how to color correct in less than a second. Yes, that's right. We're going to be using Photoshop. We're going to be using a shortcut and I'm going to be using Andy Leibovitz photographs to show you how to color correct her photographs since she usually tones them with blues in the darks and then some oranges in the skin tones and highlights. I'm going to show you how to color correct her photos and then we're going to go back in and try and color correct it how she had it. So that way you can apply it to your photographs and things like that. So well, I'll just give you little tips along the way, tell you the shortcuts, and hopefully this will help your workflow. It's a real quick and dirty technique, and I think you'll like it. So let's get into it right now. All right, so we've got the first one, and we're gonna just do this real quick. What I usually do is make a duplicate layer, and that's Command-J, and then I do the shortcut. So let's do this real quick. So Command-J, and then boom. That's the color correction in less than a second. So I use Command J to duplicate the layer, and then that way the changes are made on a separate layer just in case I have to knock it back a little bit, which means just if we see this is too blue or orange, we can just take the opacity back and we can bring back the original color. This one looks pretty good as it is right there. So that's before and that's after. That's color correcting. So that's that one, that was quick and dirty. I'm also gonna show you this one is one of mine. I'll show you that in a little bit. So this is another Annie Leibovitz. We're gonna do Command J, push Command, Shift B. We've got a nice starting point for our color correction. All right now, it looks pretty good. It's, let's see, before, after. Looks like it's still just a touch orange. So all we gotta do is go to your curves layer, go to the blue channel, and I think we could just increase this just a touch just a little adjustment there so that's that one that was pretty easy i'm gonna close that one out and here we go with this one what i'm doing here is auto color and what i've experienced is a lot of people will tell you to create a 50 percent gray layer then go in with your color sampler and sample the mid-tones the highlights and the shadows and then you try and get a color balance doing that but it's not very consistent from what i found and this is like so quick and easy you just bang it out and then you can use curves or something like that to make minor tweaks to it but it usually works and i'm going to show you some examples of annie lee which is photos where it, it's not so quick and easy and I'll show you what to do when we get there so that one's done and like I said if you think this is too much you can just lower the opacity and then bring back some of those blues before and after so you don't have to duplicate the layer that's just something I do so I can adjust it but you can just simply push command shift B it's control shift B on a PC so let me undo that. I'm gonna Command J, Command Shift B. So this one's good. This one you can definitely tell that it's really blue. So let's see what it does with this one. Nice, looks pretty good. Some of her photos look sometimes a bit too contrasty. Like in this case, I would think it, it looks a little bit too contrasty. And the saturation looks a little bit too high in some cases. So we can just knock back the vibrance just a bit. And this gets us to the natural looking photo, something we might've seen on set before post. Let me knock this back just a little bit more. That looks a little more natural. So that's that one, okay, before, after, before. You can totally tell that's super blue. I'm coming back to this one. Let me show you these. So I'm gonna do the same thing color correct. And in this case, we can see that our skin tone's a little bit saturated, so I'm gonna knock this back with the vibrance. And when I do that, I also notice that it's a little bit more blue. So we can knock this back. We can push V and take it to seven right here. And that looks a little better. I like the toning that I did to this, but I'm just showing you how to get it back to normal. So that one's that. And this is Mandy. Not only is she a beautiful model, but she's also the love of my life. So it comes in handy. So let's do this one real quick. Command Shift B. And I'm gonna knock this one back to about 70, maybe 60. Bring back some of those orange tones. That looks better right there. So that's before, after. Trying to get it back to normal. This one, we've got pretty normal 
tones here, but I'm going to see what it does. So it looks like it made it a lot more orange. So it looks like I have a lot of greens and blues in the shadows on this one. And this turned it a lot more red and orange. So usually in the shadows, like in this scene on location, if I'm looking with my eyes, it's going to be a little more blue, a little more green because we're in the shade and we're surrounded by green trees and things. I'm gonna knock this back just a little bit until I get something that looks a little bit more natural. And then we can see that the skin tones are a little more saturated. So I'm gonna bring that down. That looks a little better. Okay, let me go back to this one and we're going to color correct it. But this one, I'm gonna show you how to go back to the original blue tones that she has here. So we can see this is color corrected. His skin's a lot more saturated. Then right here, we can see that it's definitely more blue in the original. Okay, all we're gonna do is go to the channel mixer and we're gonna go to our red output channel right here. And I'm gonna make sure I just change a couple settings and I wrote these down so I could get this right. Uh, decrease the blues to 17. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the green channel and we're gonna increase the greens to 108 and the blues are okay and then we're gonna go to the blue channel and make a few adjustments here we're gonna do negative 8 plus 8 on the green and then plus 89 and then plus 8 on the constant all right now we can compare we still have one more adjustment but I'm going to show you what it looks like so far we're getting there so the blues if we're looking at the blues in the background we have a little bit of yellow in the whites and then the blues are almost exact. So let's go up here and we're gonna drop the vibrance to negative 19. And so this is as close as I could get it back to normal. And we look pretty good. A little bit of yellows, a little bit of blues making a difference, but we're pretty close. All right, so I can take these changes and if you have a similar image like this, so he's exposed properly and the background is underexposed a little bit. So that's how we get this nice contrast right here, the greatest area of contrast is he's popping out against the background because the background's underexposed by maybe one stop or so. We can apply this to our scene. Let's, let me just drag these two layers over to our scene here and we can see what kind of difference it makes to our image. So this is before with the color corrected normally and then this is after and you can make further adjustments from there but that's kind of a basic how to get started with toning your image. So let me show you some troublesome images. Okay, I have several troublesome images and I'm going to drag these into Photoshop and show you how I would fix them. All right. So this one, if we do the same color correction, we can see our skin tones are a little bit better, but you can still see there's kind of like a weird hue going on. So this one, I think we'd have to adjust hue and then the saturation just to get her skin looking a little bit normal and her hair. So just like, I don't know, plus, I think that looks kind of normal. Plus seven on the hue scale, and then we're gonna knock back the vibrance a little bit. Now, one thing I like to do is make the color correction. Then I'm gonna do Command Option Shift E. That'll put everything into a new layer. And then I can use my shortcut again, Command Shift B, and then try and get it back to normal again. So that's after, and this is before. So pretty close. Her hair looks natural, her skin looks pretty natural. It's still a little desaturated, I would say. So her skin's desaturated, but everything else is saturated. So that's something you'd have to go in with your, your brush tool and brush in the color. So let's move on to the next one. This one, you can tell it's pretty underexposed. Let me do my trick. Turn it a little bit red. What we're gonna do is increase the brightness. We're gonna lower the contrast. It's very contrasty. Then I'm gonna create a new layer with everything in it. Command, Shift, Option, E. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the Command Shift B again, the color correct, and see we're starting to get back to normal. That's pretty nice. So that's before, or that's after, and that's before. I think the after looks a lot better. 
This first one is way too processed, I think. It's over-processed. Sorry, Annie. Okay, let's do this one. I think I analyzed this one a while back, but one of the flaws of this image is this bright blue area she decided to leave on there. It kind of distracts from the model, so if we crop that out, I think it improves the image quite a bit. There's nothing pulling our eyes and wondering why she left that there. We've also got a high contrast in the top here, but that can be fixed. Low contrast, stamp tool. We've got the opacity at 50 and the flow at 20, so I can just knock this back real quick. And I'm gonna actually create a new layer of these two. Create a new layer from everything. Command Shift Option E. And then I'm gonna do our color correction. And it doesn't do much. Low contrast here. So let's raise the contrast and it's kind of a bit underexposed. So we'll bring up the brightness, lower the contrast just a touch. So I'm gonna make another layer with everything. Do our color correction again. Let me see, it still looks kind of blue. So I'm gonna bring it back some, this is CMYK. So maybe let's go to RGB and see if that makes a difference with our color correction. There we go, okay. So what was happening is was the color mode was in CMYK and when I did the color correction, it didn't do anything. So now we can see it's way too contrasty, but the colors are a lot more accurate and I'm gonna bring down the contrast again. And there we see a lot more natural colors right there. So that's what was going on. Before it was a bit green and low contrast. So that's that one. All right, so and then we have this one. This one should be pretty quick. Turns it kind of blue with our color correction, so we can just knock it back and get something more accurate. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. It's I'm in Moby again, and it's uh, getting pretty hot. So if you like this video and you want to see more of these, just hit the like button and please subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and it lets me know that you want to see more. Thank you so much for all the support, you guys. I really appreciate everything. Everybody's visiting my site checking out the books, the grids, the videos, everything. So I, I really appreciate everybody's support. I couldn't do this without you. I honestly couldn't. So thank you so much. Join in next time. And I'm trying to do maybe a, a video a week, but stay tuned. Thanks guys. Take care.